Welcome to AstroVenture, the DSLR Astrophotography Channel. Hey there, AstroVenturers. Welcome back. If you're new to this astrophotography channel, my name is George and this is the astrophotography channel for DSLR or mirrorless camera bodies combined with the lenses we already own and a simple star tracker like the Skyguider Pro or the Star Adventurer. In today's episode of Up in the Night Sky, we're going to take a look at the Rosette Nebula. The Rosette Nebula right now is up overhead uh, just to the left of the Orion constellation and it's in a prime location to shoot right now. So let's get started here. This image here is the rosette as I shot and to capture this image I did two minute exposures uh, for a total of two and a half hours of uh, stacked imagery. The aperture I was using was an aperture of 6.3 and that was shot with a Tamron 150 to 600 millimeter um, generation one and the focal length at which I was shooting was 460 millimeters. The ISO that I had the camera set at was 1600 and then the skies that I was shooting under was a Bordeaux class six approximately. Uh, it changes a little bit due to nearby cities but overall we could call it a Bordeaux six. The camera that I was using I was using my Nikon D600, which is a full-spectrum astro-modded camera, and it is much more sensitive uh, to, you know, the, uh, the hydrogen alpha that's out there. And so that's how I captured this picture of the Rosette Nebula. Now, not everybody is shooting with an astro-modded camera, so I wanted to point out to you a couple other images. Now, this particular image here this was shot by Brandon. Now, Brandon is a new friend to the New Moon crew. He decided to join us when we uh, went out to shoot the Rosette Nebula. And Brandon was shooting on a telescope and with a, a D3300. And at the end of this video, I will put up his image along with all of the specifications on how he shot. But that's off of a Nikon D3300 stock camera. And then the other image here, this one, this one comes from Sasquatch Mike. Sasquatch Mike was shooting uh, also on a stock camera, not Astro modded, and he was shooting with his Canon. And at the end, I will throw his image up as well with all of the specifications for how he shot it. So, point being, um, if you're Astro modded, you can capture a lot of the reds because you don't have that filtering in your camera. However, it doesn't mean that you can't capture this target, so by all means, get out there and capture it. And before I let you go, keep in mind we do have our Facebook page going. It's AstroVenture DSLR, and you can you know, talk to the New Moon crew, uh, myself, and you know Brandon, he's in there, and all kinds of people from all over the world that are exploring this astrophotography. Until next time, I wish you clear skies and uneventful nights.